I guess this is the first video that I'm doing here um, to get the feel for how I'm actually going to be doing these things in the future. Honestly, I get bored watching my own videos and I can't stand shooting them from one angle. And I also know that I annoy the hell out of my apartment complex neighbors. So I'm in my car today and I am going to run you through the calls that I've got on my lanyard. Not all these are perfect. They all, I made, actually, I guess I made all of them except for um, this one, the wing setter whistle. But the rest of these I've made. So anyway, I'll uh, give you a quick demo of what I've got on my lanyard and we'll go from there. So starting off from the top here. This is a very dirty, either a snow or a speck call, and I'm not really sure which one. We'll see right now. Okay, so that's obviously a snow. Um, this used to be a spec call that I had had, but basically I tore it apart, shaved the reed down, and pulled the tuning back a lot so it's a lot lower and you can make those real guttural snow goose tones. Seems to work pretty well. I am no snow goose master by any means, but it works for me. Oh, by the way, if you can see that I'm sweating, I can't really see the screen right now. There's really bad glare, but it is hot. It's like 80 degrees and it's been 60 all winter, so I'm dying right now. It's getting too hot. Anyway, going down, obviously this one, as I said before, is the uh, wing setter. It's just standard whistle that we use for, well, we use it for all kinds of ducks. Basically, all the puddle ducks we have around here respond really well to these whistles because it's kind of, well, I guess it's pretty easy to actually overblow them and be too loud. But it's hard to make them sound crappy because they're a whistle. So, let's see if I can do this right. I haven't done this since duck season, so please pardon my inadequate calling abilities. So, pintail. You can use it as a teal. Um, how do I do the widgeon with this? The widgeon sound I've never been real good at with these. I had to learn that this year. Nope, okay. That's a teal, or a quail, excuse me. What does a widgeon sound like? It's kind of sad. Can't remember now, it's been too long. I can't remember how to even do it. Well, that goes to show you I'm not the greatest. Okay, so we'll move on from that. Um, honker call. Mine is a really, it's a really, again, I like the really light reeds. I have this one shaved down quite a bit. I don't know if you can see that there at all. And it's also got a huge end piece, um, huge mouthpiece on this thing. It's seven eighths inch. I like having that huge mouthpiece and the huge end piece for a lot of extra back pressure um, to keep the call running on low notes. So I'll show you what those sound like. Okay, so that probably should be tuned up a little bit higher. Um, sounds kind of raspy to me right now. It's a little bit too easy to kind of run through the notes. I like a little bit stiffer than that because you do have a little bit more control. Um, as you're running through the notes, you won't overrun yourself with air like you heard me do a couple times. 
a little bit too hard to control. So I got to stiffen that up before next season. Uh, what is this one? This is a, I think it's a spec call. Yep, okay, so this is a spec call. It's not outstanding. Still working on it. This is, if you guys have ever seen this before, it's an echo insert, but I have a uh, modified reed on it because the reed they send you, I, I personally think is too stiff. I don't really care for it, but again, that's just me. Um, but anyway, this is a modified echo. We'll see if I can run this. This might sound kind of funny. Okay, so it still needs some work, but it works all right. That's going to be work this season. We did get a couple birds with it. Um, definitely needs some work, though. Not quite as clean as I'd like to have it. This is my go-to call. This is one of the old ones that I used to make, Drake Storm. Um, not making them anymore. Well, I am, but I'm not making the acrylic ones anymore. Making the wood ones. And this has... Again, if you've ever seen these, pretty standard. This is an echo insert, but it does have my reed set in it that I put in. Um, sometimes I leave echoes reed sets in. I do like them quite a bit, but I like to have mine shaved down. I like tipping the reed up a little bit because it helps it from sticking. And I also like to shave the top reed a little bit because I like to have... Um, I feel like it gives a little bit more variance in the bottom end it doesn't snag up so much it's not as heavy in the bottom end i also have bottom reed shaved on this one i think i'm not real sure but we'll see anyway it um it helps me keep the call going on the low side again uh like all my other calls i really like to have really really light calls but again that's just me so this is what this one sounds like <laughs> And if you want to highball it, I rarely use this unless the birds have turned and flared and they're going away and there's no way in hell we're getting them back any other way. I might highball at them, but it's very rare that I do do that because I don't like screaming at birds. I like to be as quiet as possible, but here's a highball. Enough of that. Anyway, that's my louder call. Works pretty well. And then this is the original one that I had made out of acrylic. This is the original Drake Storm. It's extremely quiet, and most people I know do not like it at all. I like it. Seems to work for me. I'm not changing it. Too bad, so sad. So here goes this one. I'll show you the insert too. It's uh, really, really small. Oh. It's loaded with dirt. Never mind, that wouldn't have sounded good. Okay, so this is what the insert looks like. I gotta clean that out first. I haven't pulled these out since duck season, which is another no no. You're supposed to actually pay attention to your gear and use it. Clean it. This is what the insert looks uh, looks like right up next to an echo. Pull that back here so I can. I'll get a better shot of this later. But this is kind of what they look like side by side. And you can tell which one is, you know, bigger, longer, maybe more quiet. This one, um, 
my green one is much more quiet here. Super short read. Anyway, show you what this one sounds like. Not so great. So again, most people don't like the sound of this one. I kind of have to get used to running it again because I don't use it all that often. But when my other duck call isn't working for the birds, I run this one and it seems to work pretty well. So anyway, that's just a quick rundown of what I've got on my lanyard. I'm sure there's going to be some new stuff next year um, or next season as I continue to build some more calls, but I'm not sure what those will be.